Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist. Today I want to show you how to make something uh, a little different, a little unique. How to make a character unique. And that is taking an ordinary face shape, like this girl cartoon right here, like so, and giving her a, uh, a few unique characteristics. For instance, one, I'm going to give her very small eyes. Make the nose very high up on the face. The other is going to give her a big chin, and usually you don't do that with a female character, but I think we can, we can pull it off, make her look kind of pretty and, and silly at the same time, and give her that big chin. So we'll give her some lips down here. We'll take up more room with the lips and the mouth because we've got that big chin. If we, if we didn't, it might look too big. So let's, let's make a nice rounded front right here, the, the profile. I'll bring the neck in a little further, like this. Yeah, that's better. And I'll, I'll give that a little action, like it's going forward. I'll also caricature the ear a little more, like that. All right, so now the front lip goes back, usually. See, like this. You kind of aim that Cupid's bow. This is called the Cupid's bow. We'll kind of curl this up. And I'll just shade the top one a little bit, just to add a little contrast. Now we're going to add some more thickness to the bottom of the eyelids. These aren't really like half moons, they're much more slender. And we'll have the uh, dark pupils peering out of the corner of the eyes. We'll really take up that, those corners right there. And now we'll also darken in the top, not quite as much as the bottom, because that gives her kind of a, a unique look. And we will give her eyelashes that don't even touch, like so. I'm going to flatten out the eyebrows rather than model them. Another unique look. Now let's thicken her. Thick line right here. Another thick line here, like so. And I'm going to bring the hair down in front of the ear. This is sort of like borrowing a technique from many of the very popular manga cartoons because there's a lot of influence, a lot of crossover influence now. And I will give her some hair down on her forehead, some floppy hair. Bring this back, almost straight, like so, and down, like that. Now let's give her a little bit of eye shadow, like so. That's my evil dog, Rusty. Let's bring that chin down just a little bit more. Keep it looking somewhat feminine, and bring this up a little bit, like so. Now, that's a fun type of character, and it has a different look than most of the other characters, because we've given her a higher nose and a bigger chin. I've also colored her in for you, and used a kind of strange kind of coloring, which I think is kind of kooky and fun. I made her kind of a, a lavender purple look, kind of magenta. So the idea is that you can take a, take a character and make it look kooky, but it helps if you start with a regular, ordinary, average shape and then add to it, rather than starting with a crazy shape. Well, I hope that was helpful, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.